Yeah, all right, guys, Traveling Blade here. Finally, finally back again for another match day vlog. It's been so, so long. United haven't played since the 20th of December when we went to beat Fulham 1-0 uh, at Craven Cottage. Phenomenal goal, phenomenal performance. I myself haven't vlogged since the, uh, I think it was the 4th of Jan, Cardiff away, when we won 3-2. Um, I was meant to go to um, Fulham away, but... Uh, I had my ticket, I had my train ticket and everything, but given the COVID cases in London at the time, uh, I thought I'd stay clear before Christmas. But it looked like it was a good away day and it was a fantastic result. A result so good that it sent the rest of the league running scared and we've had three games postponed since that one on top of the QPR game postponed. Um, one, only one of them have been rearranged. Preston away is now on a Tuesday night, which I will be going to. The other three, God knows what's happening with them. We've even got Chris Wilder running, uh, running scared. But today is the FA Cup third round. We travel to the Molyneux, or Molyneux, I don't know, however you want to call it, uh, to face Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves having a good season so far. They're currently eighth in the Prem. They've just come off the uh, back of a 1-0 victory away at Old Trafford. So fair play to them. Obviously, FA Cup third round. You're going to get some uh, change to the lineup. Obviously, I, I was, aren't going to prioritise it too much, I wouldn't say. Uh, us ourselves, we've got 11 first team players out or something. So I'll be intrigued to see what our lineup is. Um, but it might be nice to see some, you know, more fringe players, uh, some of the younger ones that we don't see as often. You know, it might be nice to see them, see how they fit in. But for two reasons, uh, Gibbs White can't play. Uh, I suppose the main one is a Wolves player anyway, so he can't play against his parent club. But on top of that, he is also injured. So I suppose even if he was fit and raring to go, we wouldn't have been able uh, you know, even if he wasn't a Wolves player, we wouldn't have been able to play him anyway. But no, yeah, back on the minibus with the Donny Blades, off to Wolverhampton. And we've finally got a game to go to. We've finally got a game to go to. It's not been postponed yet because of Covid. See if we can uh, cause a minor upset and hopefully get into the next round. Cheers Al. Fucking hell. Why? 
Way! 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 No fucking clue what that was as well. Here we go, and here we go. Sheffield United to the Premier League, here we go. Oh. Lecky and Stuart McCall. Why was that disallowed? Half time, 1 0 Wolves, typical Sheffield United first half. We've not been that bad, but given our mistakes and our missed chances, we're 0 to the 1 0 down. We've got McBurney. McBurney, what we're saying? I've had a tough Christmas, personally, as you can fucking tell. Uh, I think we've got a chance of bringing this into extra time. Do you reckon we'll score? Yeah, I think we'll all score. I feel like Who do you reckon will get it? My goal drink. My goal drink. Screams my goal drink today. He's already missed a chance though. Yeah, I know, which is why Technical I think we're going to And I think we'll go to extra time. And I think we're going to be in Birmingham till 9 o'clock tonight. Alright, good. Penalties, figure. Alright, we got a oh, talk about shit. Oh, Lewis, oh, what, oh, Lewis, what are we saying? Oh, Lewis, what are we saying? Come on. What's your half-time tactics? Go out. 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 Pretty bang average, really, wasn't it? We yeah. should, have, should have scored at the start, but we're not going to win. So. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's the prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute shambles at the back. League One was tried his best, fucked it up. The rest of the defence in help. Fuck us, we're all pissed up. S U 
So full time Wolves to a United nil. That's the end of our FA Cup adventure. If it was even adventure in the first place, yeah, I didn't really expect too much from the game. Uh, Wolves fielded a strong side. Uh, we went sort of like a mixed one. We went with a fairly strong side, to be fair. Um, you know, quite a lot of the first team players, Fodding and Bash, I suppose, Sharp and McGoldrick, Berger back in the side. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, who else do we have? You know, a few different faces like Bogle starting. Uh, Norrington Davies, Kieran Gordon, I thought was all right at the back. To be fair, didn't do too much wrong. Yeah, you know, it was. Um, I think that we can't really complain because I think obviously Wolves were the better team. Um, but I feel like the first and third goals uh, were really uh, quite daft mistakes on our on our behalf. The first one, uh, Jack Robinson just toe poking it to their defender uh, to just toe poking it to uh, their attack. I can't remember who it was. I think it was it Pedence that scored the first one, um, and then the third one as well. Uh, Wes came out, sort of fumbled it a bit and, you know, it looked like a good move at first, you know, really, you know, coming out to make a statement and clear his lines and then uh, it was sort of a bit of a shambles at the back and he just fumbled it and they went 3-0 up, but, you know, so, and we missed, we missed some, we had the goal that's allowed rightly or wrongly, but uh, McGoldrick had a great chance as well, very close range and didn't make anything of it really, um, which was a real shame because, you know, we all know how good McGoldrick is for us, but, he really he's continuing to struggle with his finishing, which is a, a great shame. Um, but yeah, I mean, we haven't missed out on too much. We've got far more than enough fixtures coming up. We've got the four rescheduled games. One, well, one of them, well, the four postponed games. One of which has been rescheduled as of yet. Um, <clears throat> uh, pressing away. So we've got the three other postponed games. Well, I suppose all four postponed games to catch up with. Uh, and if we had have beaten Wolves, we'd have just had Norwich at home, which is. Not great, to be fair. Probably the most boring fixture you could probably ask for. So, we've not missed out on too much. It's not like we'd have got a Chelsea away or something like that. Um, or something interesting like Boring Wood away or something. So, we've not missed out on anything interesting whatsoever. Um, obviously, it would, I wanted to win the game. It would have been nice to progress. But it's not too sad an affair by any account. But, yeah, I thought we started quite well. Uh, you know, we had good phases of the play here and there. I just think sometimes we stood off a little bit. Wolves seem to have a greater sense of urgency about them. We tend to stand off now and then. Uh, there were some great individual moments from here and there. I thought Ben Osborne, once again, um, you know, he, he looked very lively and seemed to be trying to win everything despite the fact he's about as tall as I am. Um, you know, I think Bash was pretty good once again, you know, put threw in some great uh great tackles. Um but yeah, it was um and it was nice for Kieran Gordon to get some time. Um as well but um yeah Oli Burke came on and I don't really know what happened to be fair I think McGoldrick I I didn't think you know I sort of McGoldrick would seem to be the only one that sort of tried to create much and he got subbed off so I was a bit surprised to see McGoldrick come off but yeah that's that but it wasn't a fantastic away day out I've not I'd been to a game since Cardiff away uh back with Donny Blades cracking day met Rio Ferdinand's no less phenomenal so it was a cracking day just the game was not that very not that good at all but the day out with the Donny Blades and the rest of the Blades family 
all the people that came up and said hello and that fantastic day fantastic day and i'm looking forward to the next one which will be derby away this coming saturday which i will be out all right guys i've been the traveling blade and i'll see you for derby away